Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and fans of Out of the Park Baseball. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back here with my Royals season. And what we're going to do today is we are going to play the final game of the 2023 season. We're going to look at the standings. We'll look a little bit at the uh, Royals statistics. And then we are going to um, ha watch the computer quick play through the playoffs and see who ends up winning the World Series in 2023 in out-of-the-park baseball. Although we all know that the Texas Rangers actually won the World Series in real life, but I can tell you that that is not going to happen in out-of-the-park baseball, and you will see why in a minute. But anyway... Um, I am going to, um, let's see, we're going to, yeah, we're going to simulate to tomorrow, and um, we'll read the important message, yes, the playoffs begin today, that's the important message, um, and for one lucky team, they will be the world champions. And so you can see the playoffs are listed as uh, the Blue Jays having a bye. The Yankees will take on the Mariners. The White Sox will go up against the Astros. And um, Minnesota will also have a bye. Then in the National League, Atlanta will have a bye, and so will the Dodgers. The Mets will take on the Padres and the Diamondbacks who actually made the World Series in real life, will go up against St. Louis. So it's uh, interesting that they did make the, uh, the playoffs just as they did in real life. But as you can see, Texas did not. So we will take a quick look at the standings. And uh, we finished one game, it looks like, uh, one game ahead of the Detroit Tigers, who finished last in the... Uh, you can see the Tigers finished last in the Central, and we were one game in front of them at 70 and 92, and uh, actually did much better than the actual Royals did. Uh, but yeah, you can take a look around here and see what things were really crazy. Like Baltimore was only 83 and 79 when in real life they won 101 games. And the Texas Rangers were 74 and 88, and uh, it looks like last in the. Um, in the uh, in the West, no, they were second to last. The Athletics were last, so that's what you got with that. And um, Atlanta did still win the uh, the East, but the Mets uh, are the team that uh, made the playoffs, and Philadelphia did not. Um, Washington was sixty two and one hundred. The Cubs were 77 and 85 when in real life I think they won like 83 or 84 games. Um, so there you go. So we're going to finish today and then we're reading an important message. The dust is settled from the regular season, blah, blah, blah. So let's go take a look at our team. Um, and uh, so we'll take a look at some of these guys and see what their statistics were. Uh, you can see Bubich. He only pitched 98 and two-thirds innings for us and had a 456 earned run average. Max Castillo was a good young pitcher that we had this year. He pitched 160 and two-thirds innings with a 409 earned run average. Granke we didn't use much, and I don't know what's going to happen with him. Uh, Lyles was 9-14 and 14 with a 645 earned run average. Uh, Daniel Lynch, you know, I'm just going to kind of breeze through these a little bit. Um, Aroldis Chapman, 52 games, 7-6 and six with a 388. Uh, Jesse Chavez had an 093 earned run average for us and a 279 for Atlanta. Garrett Crochet, 324 earned run average for us and a 3 for um, Chicago. Kendall Graveman had a 159 earned run average for us and a 331 for Chicago. 
Joe Kelly had a 382 earned run average for Chicago, but a 153 earned run average for us. Adam Morgan, uh, well, he, uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, he, he must have, let's, let's click on him. Yeah, he did play for Kansas City. He did play us for us 50 innings pitched and a 128 whip and a, um, where is his ERA? Um, and a 504 earned run average. All right, so let's see if we can get back to, yeah. So we're, we'll head on some other, some other you know big name guys. Salvador Perez, he hit 237 this year with 23 home runs for us. Freddie Fermin um, hit 330 in 42 games. Vinny Pasquatino had 21 home runs and hit 242. Matt Duffy only hit 243 for us with a home run. Michael Massey. Now, Michael Massey had a good year for us. Better than probably he had in real life. He hit 283 with a 333 on base percentage. And uh, so let's keep looking here. Um, Hunter Dozier hit uh, 258 with a 309 earned run average, and, or uh, 309 on base percentage and nine home runs. Bobby Witt Jr., Kind of a uh, disappointing year, although really, uh, I guess you could say he's been kind of disappointing in real life. But he hit 16 home runs and had a 240 batting average. Uh, Nicky Lopez, um, well, we're gonna, we'll skip over him. Let's see here, let's see if we can. Ben Gamble. Um, in 2023, for Tampa Bay, he hit 300 with a 364 on base percentage, but for us, he hit 294 with a 376 on base percentage. Of course, that's a better gamble than you're going to see in real life. Edward Olivares um, had a 208 batting average for us and only five homers. Kind of disappointing. Fran Mil Reyes hit 245 with 32 home runs. So he was disappointing from the batting average standpoint, but he had a lot of jacks for us. Jackie Bradley Jr. hit 228 with only four homers. And Kyle Isbell hit 210. MJ Melendez hit 231 with a 301 on base percentage, but had 20 home runs. So that's just kind of a quick overview of what happened this year, and um, we'll go back and we'll look at the standings again. So this is what the standings look like, just so you can see. Take a look. And we'll do that with the American League, let you see what the wild card looks like, the wild card standings looked like. Um, so that's where we are. Now I am going to, um, let's just, uh, let's simulate to this date. Oh, okay, I got to finish today. Finish today. Let me see, we'll try to go to... Yeah, we'll simulate to that date, and we'll see where we are. So let's go. There should be an option up here to take a look at the um, postseason playoff coverage. Yeah. So let's see here. Um, playoff tree. Here we go. Playoff tree. So, as you can see, we are heading into a situation where the Braves are going to take on the Cardinals for the uh, National League Championship Series. And the Astros, who really were in the American League Championship Series, are going to take on the Toronto Blue Jays. And so let's just... Um, let's simulate... 
a little further on. And so you can see the Astros are up three games to two on the Blue Jays. The Cardinals are up three games to two on the Braves. So let's simulate one more. Let's simulate one more day. Or, I guess, one more day. So it's going to be the Braves and the Blue Jays. That's going to be the World Series for this 2023 season. And let's go through here and see. We'll go to the 29th. Well, yeah, let's go one more day. We'll go to the 30th. Oh, finish today. Finish today. Let's go to the... Th oh, okay, the Toronto Blue Jays are up one game to nothing. I don't know why they're not letting me sim to the... Let's, let's try to go to the 30th. And the Blue Jays win the World Series over the Atlanta Braves. Now, the Braves, I would agree, probably should have been in the World Series this year in 2023 in real life, whereas I don't think that the Blue Jays really should have been. They, they struggled a lot of the year in real life, but uh, here they win the World Series. And uh, we're going to finish today just to put a little... Uh, Okay, the season is over. Your season score this year is 261. You should do better next year, Bob. The score is nothing to be proud of. So let's take a look at my um, manager history. I mean, it's only this season. So, so yeah, 70 and 92. We hit 244 as a team. We had a 457 team ERA. And as you can see, I got the 261 score. So we'll have to see what happens next year with me. Um, but um, that's where it is. Let's see if the available jobs have gotten any better. I oh, really, the last I checked, I only had um, I only had uh, minor league clubs, and that's still the situation here. Only minor league clubs would give me a, a contract right now as manager. So uh, that is going to be it for right now. Um, the next thing that we would, the next video I will put up will be going through the, the uh, off season and seeing who Kansas City gets, um, who we get in the off season, what free agents we sign, uh, what minor leaguers um, we bring up, uh, all of that stuff, which is all again decisions that the general manager for Kansas City will make, and I am just the manager of the team. I think we're moving in the right direction. We certainly did better than the real Royals did. So we'll see what we can do. So the next episode that you will see of Out of the Park 24 will be our Royals off-season moves. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.